This is Meno at OS, and it is one of the smallest modern operating systems in the world. It is less than 1.44 megabytes in size and runs entirely from a floppy disk. Also, apparently, it can run Doom, but more on that later. Let's fire it up and see what happens. What is something that you do on your desktop every single day? I'm guessing that you probably browse your files. There is a pretty simple file browser right here. Wait a second, something's missing. Oh, right, transparency effects. On this OS, you can enable transparency for the UI elements, kind of like Windows Arrow. Back to the file browser, it is pretty simple. Actually, there's not much to it. However, these files that are in here, they have a lot of variety in terms of when they were created. Some of them are from the early 2000s, and some are from 2024 or 2025. This OS has been in development longer than I have been alive. The 32-bit version was apparently initially released in the year 2000. I think it's pretty cool. So, what else do you do? You probably browse the internet. There's a pretty simple web browser right here. For me, it doesn't work, because I could not get my internet connection to work properly with this operating system. That's kind of my fault, not the operating systems. And when it comes to web browsing, if you look right here, then it says HTTP. And that is because this browser doesn't support the HTTPS. So those were some pretty basic features, but now it's time to step it up, because there are a lot of cool and weird programs. A lot of these programs are functionally pretty useless. They seem more of like a flex to everyone of what this super small operating system can do, than actual usable programs. And if you want to look like a wannabe hacker, then you can open up this raining matrix code program. It would be a pretty cool screensaver. I would also like to quickly mention that I found the desktop customization interesting. You have a bunch bunch of tiles right here, which represent a location on the desktop. If you want to remove or place a program in that spot of the desktop, then you have to click on a tile and add the icon. Now I have trash in this location of my desktop. I tried to find whether I could customize the taskbar in any way, but there didn't seem to be any options for that. But now the elephant in the room, which is Doom. If I press on it, it says insert menu at CD to start application. This means that we need a separate CD to actually play the game, which I happen to have. I quickly slapped it into the operating system and booted it up. My background for some reason had reverted back to this default one. But about the CD, now if I open Doom, it works. Doom can actually run on an operating system that's less than 1.44 megabytes. But... Trying to resize the program's window was not a pleasant experience. The game would not really scale alongside the window. Also, Doom was extremely sped up for some reason. I do not know what's up with that. I wasn't sure whether this was a mistake on my part, but I could not find anything in the settings either. It's barely even playable. The whole game and its content is there, don't get me wrong, but it's really hard to control the character and the shoot. I played around for a bit and I, at some point I died. Then I decided that we should check out Quake. I have never played this one before. However, this one had the opposite problem. It was extremely slow. I do not know if this is a hardware issue or something, but the game ran in slow motion. I think I might speed up the footage during editing. The issue could be related to the fact that I'm running this on a virtual machine, as opposed to a real one. At least these games run on the system. There's also three-dimensional Tetris, in case you're not into first-person shooters. Overall, this is how Menu 8 OS functions. I do not have anything else to say, so get out of here.